Hello guys, welcome back to Flurrycraft. So today I will be showing you how to make a Bedwars loot generator. And of course, this doesn't have to be used for just Bedwars. It can be used for anything, but it's based off of Bedwars loot generators. It just uses a few simple commands, which I will go through throughout the video and explain. And also, if you want to copy and paste any of them, then they will all be in the pinned comment. So first of all, what we're going to do is have a designated spot for the loot to spawn. I built something, although it can literally be anywhere. Also choose a spot to put an armor stand, which will be very important when making the timer for the loot. I chose the coordinates I was going to put it at before this video started, so when I use the command, you'll see me use those coordinates in a second. Also, I'm not going to go as in-depth about how the timer itself works, just more how to get it to generate loot. So if you'd like to know more about that, then there is a video I did a little bit back linked in the description. So for our first command, we're going to do slash summon, armor stand. Then here's where you're going to put your coordinates of where you want the armor stand to be, which I already decided on. Invisible 1B. And make sure here that you're getting like all the little brackets and stuff correct or it won't work. Invulnerable 1B and no gravity 1b so this means that it'll be invisible you can't get rid of it without doing the slash kill command and also it will stay in the air if you put it there and so you don't have to have ground underneath it so for the next step we're going to do the command blocks and you literally only need two we're going to set these both to repeat unconditional and always active so after putting them both to those settings we're ready to actually do the commands now so for the first command we're going to do execute positioned and then we're going to do it from the coordinates of where the armor stand is so this command is going to run from that spot run effect give at e and here we're going to set some requirements so this command will only work whenever it finds an entity that meets all of these requirements type equals armor stand which means that this will only work on an armor stand Distance equals dot dot one, so it can only work on entities within one block of where we set it's positioned at, which would include that armor stand. NBT equals active effects duration one. So basically, if we're going to give it an effect such as luck, which it can be any effect, I'm just using that because it doesn't really have a use, honestly, but whenever that effect is running out, then this command will run. Also, this is when I realized that it was all still red, so I went back and added that equal sign. So now to finish the command. Just put a potion effect here. I put luck. It's just what I like using. You can use anything. The number of seconds you want to go between each time the loot spawns, one, and true, which will make sure you don't have annoying potion effect particles. So now we're going to move on to the other command. So we're basically just making a timer with the potion effect. So the last command that we just did, what it does is whenever the potion effect runs out, it gives a potion effect to the armor stand again, basically just resetting the timer. What this next command will do is whenever that timer runs out, it's going to spawn loot right before the timer gets reset, as we're going to say. And by the timer, I mean just adding a potion effect to an armor stand. So now on to the second one. So do execute, positioned, the coordinates once again of the armor stand, if, entity, and this is pretty similar as the last time, at e type equals armor stand distance equals dot dot one and this is going to be a little bit different nbt equals active effects duration two so we're doing two because a potion effect the duration goes down so it's going to reach duration two it spawns the loop then after that it reaches duration one and it gives the armor stand its potion effect once again so if you do them at the same time, all that's going to happen is it gives it the effect again, and then this never really runs. So then we're going to do run, loot, spawn, the coordinates of where you want the loot to spawn, loot, and then I'm doing diamond ore, although you can literally do whatever you want to be your loot that spawns. So now that those are set up, all we have to do is run one command to give a potion effect to the armor stand one time, and then this will just keep looping and it will work. So standing where you put the armor stand, do slash effect, give, at E, type equals armor stand, distance equals dot dot two, so within two blocks, give yourself a little wiggle room in case you're not standing exactly there, and then luck, 
the number of seconds, one, true. So now if we just like wait 10 seconds or so, then you'll see that it's going to start working. So for now, it's just waiting for 10 seconds. Yes, and you get a diamond. So, and this will keep happening. So yeah. Don't mind that it says two targets. It'll normally say one, but I forgot I was testing this and there's already an armor stand there. So I got rid of the extra armor stand. You can see it just says one now, but also you may notice that you kind of get this message in chat every single time it happens. So there's one more command you can do to get rid of that message. Do slash game rule, command block output, false. So at this point it should be fully working no annoying chat messages and you'll see when the next diamond pops up that yeah see no chat message still get a diamond so thank you for watching the video i hope this helped and feel free to comment with any questions or any other tutorials you would like to see and chances are i will do it and if you have a question i will try my best to answer it and reply with a comment also please like and subscribe it's been doing really well lately. Last video, we were about 600 subscribers, and now we're close to 700, which is crazy. So, see you next time, and bye!